me on a nuclear reactor because I'll just push it because I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey everyone and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host Chef AJ and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well today is the fifth and final show of the day and we have none other than Raw Food Romance's Lissa Maris and she's going to be making blue wraps blue yep we talked about them on the last show with elspeth feldman i think the secret ingredient is spirulina i don't know much about it or how it tastes but i know it looks really really pretty please welcome lissa to the show with her gastronomic galaxy cosmic deep blue raw vegan wraps and you can get the recipe for this and all the other hand salads in this week's available only about I think 16, 18 more out. Uh, I don't know. I don't do math good. But it's still <laughs> tomorrow. And she's going to tell you all about it. Please welcome Lissa Maris. You are like literally, I mean, seriously, is there a raw food chef that's more creative than you? If so, tell me who they are because I can't believe it. I don't know how you figured oh, out. This. I mean, it's like, it's like, not, it didn't exist until you created it. That's what's so cool about it, you know? Mm. Yeah, I, I just really enjoy playing with ingredients and, and pushing the limits and seeing what I can do with stuff. And there are, you know, there's other wraps out there and stuff, but I made these ones, like just the technique that I use is a little different and some of the ingredients are different. And I tested like 60 different recipes before I came, you know, decided on the 34 that go in the hand salads wrap. So they're really special to my heart and I'm so happy to see so many people enjoying the wraps to the max. I just love seeing them tagging me in their, you know, in their Instagram posts and stuff like that. It's super awesome. Well, um, oh, yeah. you know, the people all throughout the week were featuring mostly bundle contributors on Chef AJ Live and what they were saying they really liked about your book is that it's foolproof because you put everything in ounces and grams that if somebody just followed the recipe, they would have a foolproof wrap. Yes, exactly. And I want to talk about that too, because when I was making the recipes originally, I was getting, and I still do get these massive onions. They're huge onions. This is an organic one from Whole Foods. And these are the sweet onions that I was getting from Costco. And the comparison like is so different. So one day, cause Nate would go and get me the ingredients and then I'd be home testing the recipes and I was using these onions. And then one day he came home with these onions and he's like, they didn't have any of the other big ones. And I was like, oh, well then I, I'm like, I wonder how many I need, <laughs> right? So that's when I started weighing them out because I wanted to make sure that I was getting the proper amount because a large onion to me might not be a large onion to you. So it's super important to use a food scale and make sure that you weigh all the ingredients so that you get the exact same, you know, result that I do. <laughs> that is really very important to point out. And that's the, the I, I don't want to say the problem, but that is pretty common in almost every recipe book when, you know, like that's when somebody says a banana, you can have a banana this big or this big. And that's why I struggled getting my cookbook out because I tend to like weight too, because weight I feel is accurate for everyone, whether it's grams or ounces, whereas cups, having been a culinary instructor at the Braille Institute, people measure differently. Some people really smoosh those herbs in and, and some people top it off. So it's, it's, it's really a wonderful thing. And it's so fun seeing you uh, make them and enjoy them. And I just love them. I just wish I didn't have to make them, even though I know how and they're not that hard. It's like, you got to keep doing it. You know, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't replicate on its own. I know, right? Oh <laughs> man, do I ever wish that they did. I know for us as well. I'm um, sorry about the shaking. My cat was standing on the thing, <laughs> like rubbing on it and loving it. Um, but I, I know exactly how you feel. And there are some nights, like it really only takes maybe max 15 minutes for us to blend two whole wraps, which could last us like two to three or four days worth of meals, but it's doing it. I totally know. Like sometimes Nate and I will be like, we want wraps tomorrow, but we're like on the couch chilling. It's like late and we're like, oh, I don't really want to make it. But you know, we think about our future self and I think 
like, well, tomorrow, Alyssa will be very happy that I took the time to do this. So I try to like, I'm like, okay, I just get up. And you know, by the time you get into the kitchen, you start chopping, you're like, okay, you know, it's not that bad. But <laughs> I know getting off the couch and doing it sometimes is like, eh, but so such as food prep, right? I do find though, doing it after dinner is the best time because then they're basically ready the next day. Exactly. And that is one of the things that I um, really encourage people to do is to just do them at like five, six or seven o'clock at night. Like while you're making dinner, you could make the wraps as well and then just get them in the dehydrator and let them sit overnight and you've got wraps the next day. And then usually it only takes, I mean, depending if you chop the insides or whatever fillings you're making, then, you know, it can be anywhere from like four to like eight minutes to wrap, roll them up and wrap them. So yeah, wrap and roll. Here, a couple of questions for you. So we're going to start with uh, Annie's question. Dairy-free acidophilus probiotic capsules. What brand do you use? Do you use one? I don't use those, so I don't know. Yeah, so um, I make, and in the in the wrap recipe book, there's quite a few recipes for fermented probiotic um, cashew cream cheese, which is what I have here, um, which we're going to spread on the wrap. So when I make those, I use Country Life. They have uh, a dairy-free acidophilus, but honestly, any dairy-free probiotic that has acidophilus in it will work. And I've used different ones before and they work just fine. So the acidophilus capsule with miso, I like to add like a teaspoon of miso into the cheese that makes it like super extra fluffy. So yeah, it, I mean, you can click on the link in the hand salads wrap ebook. I have links to all the stuff like the, the spatula, the trays, um, the probiotic, like everything's in there. So all people have to do is buy the bundle. <laughs> the link is in the show notes um, and get the hand salads ebook where you can get the links to all the stuff that we use. Very cool. And another question, the recipes in the book look so delicious, but for losing weight, are they too calorically dense when you need to lose weight? That's a great question too. And I do address this in the FAQ section because I've had this question quite a few times. One wrap, and we're talking like, okay, so this is the one that we're going to um, wrap today. This one I made already. This wrap is this entire thing is about 450 to 500 calories, but you don't always have to eat the entire thing. Um, once it's filled with stuff, maybe the entire wrap is maybe like 700 calories max, but it's a lot. The entire wrap is like, it's, it's filling. I, I rarely have an entire wrap because they're so filling, but so like half a wrap is probably about 350 calories, depending on what you put inside, obviously. Um, but you know, it's not that much and we have to eat enough anyways. So you can have like half a wrap with a salad or something like that, you know, get it there. But I eat around, I mean, I personally eat around 2,400 calories a day and the wraps really do help with that. So, I mean, they're, they're also low fat as well. One entire wrap only has one tablespoon of either chia or flax. And some of the wraps have a little tahini, but it's just one tablespoon per wrap. So if you're only having half, you're only getting like half a tablespoon. So it's not really that high in fat anyways. It's mostly just fruits and veggies. <laughs> well, not only is it not high in fat, it's actually very low in fat. And also it depends what you fill it with. If it, it's going to make the difference. I mean, if you fill it with, you know, nut butter, it's going <laughs> to be much different than if you do what Lissa does, where she's literally filling it with raw vegetables that are hundred calories per pound. So even if she ate the whole thing, I mean, 600 calories for a whole meal. And those things are so filling. So when I make them, I eat the whole thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you're putting like, you know, your, your hand. I'm putting sweet potatoes in them. Yeah. yeah. In addition to the salad stuff, of course. That's so awesome. So yeah, like it really depends on what you put inside. You know, if you're using like a lot of cashew cheese or if you don't use cashew cheese, if you just use the hand yams or for raw foodies, like you can skip the sauce. I know a lot of people just skip the sauce or whatever, like you don't have to. And then also it depends on how much sauce you use. If you make it and use a sauce as well, which I like to do. But again, I think it's totally fine because it's usually what you eat throughout the rest of the day as well, right? Like if you're having the nice wrap and you're eating a bunch of other stuff um, that might be questionable, then it depends. It really depends on what else you're eating during the day and what you fill it with, so. I think they're totally fine. <laughs>
Nice. So show us how to wrap, baby. All right. So what I did is I, I have, you got to get the bundle to get the full recipe, but I've got the, you know, some of the ingredients in here already. And I've got all of the ingredients that I'm going to be putting in the wrap. Now this recipe makes two wraps, 14 by 14 size, and I've weighed everything out already. So we don't have to worry about that. And this is the everything but the bagel recipe in the hand salads wrap ebook. And I just, I, I have this one memorized. This is the one that I make all the time. So it's really easy for me. Now, the only difference between everything but the bagel wrap and the galaxy blue rainbow wraps is Terrasol blue spirulina. So I've had many people ask if there's a flavor to this one because they don't like the green spirulina because it's really fishy. This one has a very neutral flavor. I don't notice it in the blue wraps. So I think that's really awesome. So I'm gonna add two teaspoons of blue spirulina to the wrap. I really have to get another one of these because I think I'm almost out. <laughs> Lisa, what does it taste like? Because somebody had asked me to make them a cheesecake for a special order because they needed it for a gender reveal. And I didn't want to get it because I didn't, I never used it. And I didn't know if it would change the taste of the recipe, you know? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I haven't actually noticed any flavor. It doesn't taste like anything to me. So, so no flavor at all. Wow. No, and no yeah. grittiness or that's so interesting. I know, and especially the Terrasol one, this one here, I really like this brand. It's like a, a fine powder. So it's like, this this stuff is so cool. Look at that blue. It is a very beautiful color. You know, Tim Kaufman from Fat Man Rants, who's watching live, hey Tim, he was on a couple of shows ago and he said, because of your cookbook, he bought a dehydrator and he's making your soup today. Very cool. I love that. I love hearing that. And yeah, the, the dehydrator is such a fun tool. I love the dehydrator. So I'm gonna be putting the onions and all the other ingredients in here. So there's like onion, date, apple, sweet potato. And again, you need the weights. It's super important to, to weigh out your ingredients. And if you don't have enough space, like I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space to fill all this, you can blend it down a little bit and then you can fit the rest in, which is what we'll, we'll do here. I still have some more ingredients. So I'm just going to blend it down really quick. Because when you blend it down just a little bit, it makes a lot of space. So you can finish filling it with the rest of the ingredients. Just like this. And Elle, one of oh, sorry. I just want El says, so happy I got the bundle. I wish I could calm down my head for long enough to get a really good grasp on it. Well, you got a whole year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a whole year. I, I really recommend people as soon as they get the email to download everything, download it all right away. You don't have to worry about opening everything and reading it all and stuff. Just download it all because you have one year to download it. And once you download it, you have it forever. So you don't have to worry about it. But I recommend you just download everything and then you can slowly go through some of the things in the bundle. So one big, huge, important thing that I want to share, if you're making the wraps, please do not put the psyllium and the chia or flax in with these ingredients because you want to blend these first and then add this after. If you put these in with everything else and you blend it for like 20, 30 seconds or whatever, the psyllium is going to suck up so much water that it can create a dry lake bed while it's drying and there'll be like cracks throughout your wrap or what have you and this happens because people blend the psyllium and chia too long you can only blend it for about three seconds three ish seconds and then you're good to go like you don't have to mix it super perfect in the, the blender and i'll show you how to do that so i've got all the ingredients in here with the blue and the water and everything and we will blend this up into kind of like a smoothie. All right, so once that's blended up into a smoothie-like consistency, 
Then we add the psyllium and the chia. And when I pulse it in, what I like to do is I'll pulse it for like a second and a half. And then I stop the blender because it creates this like bubble. And then I blend it again and it brings the rest of it down just in case it's like a hard, having a hard time blending everything in. So I do for like a second or so like that. And then I stop it and it makes a bubble. Then I blend it again. And that's all you need to do. Like you do not need to blend the psyllium and the chia in long. Otherwise you get those um, kind of like cracks while it's dehydrating. But there we go. Super easy, right? Super easy. Once you have the recipe. Yeah. So you guys may not know this, but Lissa really makes the bundle. In other words, the contributors all bring their product to her, but she makes everything beautiful and curates it and collates it and makes all the bells and whistles and buttons work. And there'd be just so you know, we call her the bundle babe because there'd be no bundle without Lissa. So if you want to thank her for really making this happen, get the bundle from her. Her link is what I've been putting in the chat and the show notes. And thank you, Jolene. She said she bought the bundle this morning and now she's working on downloading one item at a time. And that's the best way to do it because even if we had a download all button, I don't recommend doing that because it, it does skip things. And because there's over 150 people have been telling us it's been taking them between 20 minutes to two hours to do it. And if you need help, we not only have customer service, but we have two wonderful videos that will teach you how to download the bundle, a very short one that Lissa made and a much longer one that Kathy Hester and Cheryl made. So uh, please always feel free to ask us for help if you need it. Uh, yeah. I I got the bundle and transferred on a thumb drive. That's the best way to do it too, because you know sometimes computers just disappear and uh, a thumb drive, you could take it anywhere. Is the dehydrator loud? Well, Catherine, it depends what room you put it in. So mine's in the laundry room, so no, but I would say it is not loud and it sure makes everything smell good, at least my Excalibur, but I'll let Lissa answer. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, honestly, I feel like the... It's probably along the lines of an AC unit, but it's not even as loud as an AC unit, actually. It's just a fan that's going. Um, it's not that loud. We have ours in the living room and we have one here. So this one here, this one's pink <laughs> because I bought it when they had the pink ones like eight years ago. They unfortunately don't have the pink ones. They had blue ones like this too, which were super cool. But um, we have the other one in the living room and we have two because when Nate and I got together, he had a dehydrator as well. So now we have two. We actually have three, but one's in storage. So <laughs> um, I have no idea they ever came in blue or pink. Uh, we know when I bought this, it was it was about eight years ago. It was like 2016 was when I bought this one. And they had like um, an orange one, a yellow one, a blue one a pink one and a red one. They had like different colors. It could have been like an anniversary sale. I have no idea because I had three of those stacking dehydrators over the first year that I was raw and each one of them, the fan broke or, you know, and I didn't like the stacking quality, you know, fact of that, about it because you couldn't put big stuff in there. It had a hole in the center. Like they were just not, they were cheap and I would keep getting them so that I could dry little things. But after the third one broke, I was like, I'm just going to buy an Excalibur because I think it's going to be great. And it just so happened that they had pink ones when I ordered it. So that was pretty cool. Um, and, you know, some people ask, like, how much does it cost? And I did a little research on that. It's about six cents an hour, depending on how much you pay for electricity. So it's really not that much. Yeah, they, they that they are not uh they don't use a lot of energy and they don't heat up the house the way other things do you know right yeah but they sure smell up the house really nice with the onions when it's drying <laughs> really really nice yeah i so i take it your favorite color is pink you know yes pink and purple are my favorite colors oh, purple, are my... oh, purple's mine so yeah pink's good too yes pink and purple um i'm i would say i was more purple when I was a kid and now I'm like more on the, on the pink side, but I like them both equally. They're so great. Yeah. Well, like me, you are involved in at least three other bundles a year. Uh, what, what's so unique and different about this uh, vegan health bundle, especially this year's? 
This year's bundle is massive. This is probably the biggest bundle um, that I've been in. Like there's 150 downloads, seriously amazing. Like that's a lot of downloads. Usually bundles are anywhere between like 40 to maybe 85 downloads. So this bundle is massive. And the vegan health bundle is really cool because every single year there's different stuff in it. So if you bought the vegan health and weight loss bundle last year, this year is totally different. There's all new stuff. And another really cool thing about this year's bundle is that we all got together and the people who were able to contributed recipes to the group spring collaboration ebook, which is only available in this bundle. You will not be able to buy it after the bundle's over tomorrow. So you have to get the bundle now. There's less than 36 hours left to get it. Link is in the show notes, but you gotta get it, gotta check it out. And I really encourage people, even if they're kind of like, eh, you know, whatever, I recommend that they go to the website and just scroll through and see all the stuff that you get. And I, I had one person ask, like, do we have to download everything? And I'm like, you don't have to. I mean, you you get everything, but you don't have to download everything. If there's only like four or five things that you want from it, it's still a good deal. Because Nate and I, for example, contributed our live lunch that retails for $330. And even with our 40% off code, you'll never get it for $49, but it's in this bundle. So you get full access to all the videos, you get the wrap book, you get the taco book. We have two months free um, access to the online meal planning app. So you can try that out if you want. And then the classes that we did together, Chef AJ, the Make It Raw, Make It Cooked, and the ebook I wrote with you for the raw bundle last year is in this one as well, Make It Raw Volume 2, which has some really cool recipes in it. Nate's got his ninja ice cream book uh, where he was on your show yesterday and his Kitchen Essentials video course is in there too. So between just Nate and I, we've contributed almost $700 worth of stuff to this bundle. So wow. I definitely recommend people go check it out. <laughs> no brainer. And you you brought up the Ninja Creamy and the person that asked about how loud is the Excalibur? It's nowhere any near as loud as a Ninja Creamy. I can tell you, I can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, or a Vitamix either. Like yeah, absolutely. not even like close or a leaf blower. So Annie is saying, Lisa, can I substitute cannellini beans for cashews in your recipe? Maybe it matters what the recipe is, I'm guessing. Yeah, I agree. Totally. It really depends on what the recipe is. Now, because I'm raw, I don't do the, 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 those beans, but you can definitely try and see how it is. I don't think the beans would work for the cashew cheese because I don't know about fermenting them. <laughs> um, but for any of the creamy sauces, I'm sure you could probably try and see how it goes. I think maybe it would lend itself more to a savory type thing than like a sweet dessert type thing that you might be using cashews for. Mm, for sure. And I really also on a side note, really highly encourage people to get an offset spatula while doing this and to take your time when you're spreading the wraps out because you want to get it as even as possible so that you get the best drying action going on here. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but this is actually my favorite part of making the wraps is spreading it. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, you guys have any more questions about anything raw food? Uh, it really helped me to watch Chef AJ's YouTube video that she shows everything that's in the bundle. Thanks, Jolene. We actually recommend that all 151 contributors, if they do any kind of uh, presentations, do that because it, we all have different people that are in our community and it does help people see what's inside. Tammy Kramer does it like for three hours. I mean, she really goes into every nook and cranny, cranny, cranny and you know does the bundle um, uh, reveal really better than anybody. The, this yeah. is a raw vegan marvel. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Aww. Yeah, there's lots of raw stuff in this bundle as well. Um, so it's really good. And I've had some people ask because we do have a raw vegan bundle that comes out once a year and that's coming later. Um, people are like, oh, I'm just going to wait for the raw bundle. But none of the raw stuff that's in this bundle, and there's a lot of raw stuff in this bundle, none of the stuff in this bundle will be in the raw bundle. So if you like all the raw stuff, there's actually quite a bit of raw stuff in this bundle, it will not be in that one. So you gotta get this bundle if you wanna get it, and the raw one will have totally different stuff in it. 
Now, for those wondering what I'm doing here, I've just put the sprinkles on this one. I'll talk about the sprinkles in a sec. I'm just gonna put it in the dehydrator. There we go, tray number one. So you don't have to put sprinkles on. I like it because it's got more of like a, like a bread or bun kind of lightness to it. Um, but I just basically, I have this old um, container and I mix sunflower seed or sorry, sesame seeds, both black and white sesame seeds, um, poppy seeds, dried onion flakes, red pepper flakes and dried chives. So it's a salt free kind of like a, like an enhanced everything with a bagel um, shaker that you can put on top here. Cause I don't want all that extra salt. Um, so I just make my own without the salt. And that's what I'm sprinkling here on this wrap. Just like so. Mm. All right. And that's it. That's all you do. So once it's done, you just put them in your dehydrator and you turn it on at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 10 to 16 hours. It really depends on where you live, how many trays are in the dehydrator. Like if you have like all eight trays going, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. It might take like 18 or 20 hours because there's so much moisture in the dehydrator. So you wanna use two, maybe four trays. Like we'll do two batches and they're done in about 14 hours. So if we do them at five o'clock at night, they're usually ready by 7 a.m. the next day. So, and this is what they look like. I've never done more than four at a time. Yeah, and you don't need to do more than four at a time. Like you don't need to make like 20 wraps um, because you know, like you wanna use them in a timely manner. I leave them on the silicone trays personally. I know people do other things like they'll peel them off or put them in, you know, like Ziploc bags that are unsealed or between parchment, that works too. But I just like to keep them on the silicone trays until I'm ready to use them. And I just leave them on the counter, like right here. I just leave them there. And then when I'm ready, I peel it off as long as they're dry. So that's a really big thing that you wanna look for too. And in the hand salads ebook, I have a full length video showing how to know when they're dry. Like when you push in the center, if you have any like dimpling that's happening, they're not ready yet. Just leave them in the dehydrator until you no longer have that dimpling that happens in the center, then you know they're dry. If you take them out when they're still dimpling, then if you leave them on the counter, they can risk mold because there's still moisture in there. So you wanna make sure that they're fully dry um, when you use them, so. Yes, yes. So you wrap the, the part that's on the tray is the inside that where you're wrapping, right? Yes, so I, I'm gonna peel this one off really quick here. So this is the outside of the wrap and this is the inside of the wrap. So when I, when I wrap it, which we're gonna do next, that's how I do it. So I have the outside, so it's all like, you know, cool with the, with the sprinkles. And the inside is a little bit tacky, right? Um, you don't want it to be fully, fully dry. Like that's one of the reasons why these wraps work so well is because I don't flip them. I let them dry fully because most wraps that I've made over the years that I kind of gave up on raw wraps was because it says to flip it halfway through. And when I flip it halfway through, it would get all crumply and really weird and like crusty on the edges. So, you know, I have the whole story in the video, if you get the ebook to learn about that, but this side is a little bit tacky. So it's nice to have as the base for all the other ingredients. And then this side's all nice for the outside. So that's gonna be really fun. So let's start. Have you ever made a pink wrap? I have. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one of the pink wraps that I made that was super cool was I made the everything but the bagel wrap the same way that I made this one. But instead of using the white fleshed sweet potato, I used a purple sweet potato. And then I, instead of the blue spiru or the blue spirulina, I put a teaspoon of the pitaya powder in it. And it was like a super vibrant, kind of a purplish pink. It was awesome. That one was really fun to make too. So like you could play around with like superfood powders and you can make some really cool 
wrap colors or in the wrap book there's also a wrap it's the v8 wrap and one of the bases is um beets and that wrap is like really really bright kind of like a, a maroon color to it so it's really fun you can have like different colors get those colors like eat the rainbow right <laughs> Yummy. You make them so pretty though. Like I, mine tastes good, but they don't look like yours when I roll them. They just, they kind of, yeah. Oh, that's okay. We, all we know is as long as it tastes good, right? <laughs> right. right. We'd love to make them as pretty as you. How did you get so much rolling experience? Oh my gosh. Like after uh, testing 60 recipes and, and I've made if I had to guess, I've made over 500 wraps since the wrap book came out in May of last year. So uh, I've made a lot and I like to make it for people too. And when we come to visit Chef AJ, I will show you all of my secret tips. <laughs> Gosh, we'll be going live a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so to make it the rainbow, I've, I've spread the cashew cheese on the bottom and you don't have to use cashew cheese if you don't want to. Um, but it does act as kind of like a barrier against some of the moisture. So we like to do that if we're traveling with them, because once this is filled, it can last like one to three days in the fridge. So you can prep these in advance and have like three days worth of lunches and you don't have to worry about lunch as long as you're not using really wet ingredients. And we're not using wet ingredients because I'm going to eat these tomorrow. I'm actually going to be making dinner tonight a big cruciferous diversity salad. So I'm not gonna eat these tonight, but I'm gonna eat them tomorrow because tomorrow's the last day of the bundle. <laughs> so I've got, you know, just like you, Chef AJ, I've got a full schedule of lives and I won't have time to make my lunch. So this is actually going to be my lunch for tomorrow. So <laughs> Yummy. I'm gonna start with some purple cabbage. I'm gonna put that on the bottom base here. Now, the only ingredient that I put to the edges is the lettuce. Everything else kind of stays in this like bottom center kind of square. So I'll put a little bit of purple cabbage and then all of these greens I harvested off our lettuce grow garden that we have growing in the office. I'm just going to put those on here. How do the wraps freeze, asks Colleen. You know, I froze one of them and it cracked on me, so I don't recommend freezing them. They're a dried food, so you don't have to freeze them. Um, I recommend just making them and just leaving them on the counter so that they stay nice. So, uh, I mean, again, I only froze one of them and because it cracked on me, I kind of like, nah, not, not really a fan of the freezing thing because it does also change the texture of fresh fruits and vegetables. It's definitely not the same as grain wraps for sure. All right. So we've got all the lettuce down. Next up is the massaged kale. So I massaged this kale with just a smidge, like an eighth of a teaspoon of miso, just to get it to soften slightly. So we'll probably put about that much because we've got a lot of ingredients to put in here. So we've got our kale and then we've got some shredded Brussels sprouts. Gonna put those on there. Green cabbage, that'll be next. And then we've got all the rest of the rainbow ingredients here. We've got yellow bell pepper, carrot, red bell pepper, pink, check out this pink daikon radish. I got these for the kimchi recipe that I made on my Instagram and I've got red onion and more regular radish. So I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't think I'll use all of these ingredients because there's quite a bit and we don't want to overstuff the wrap. I had somebody ask earlier today how much you can fill the wrap with. And as you can see, it's pretty full already. And you can really put a lot of stuff in these wraps. Um, but there is a point where, you know, you can fit too much in. So you'll know. I'll show you when you start folding, when I start folding it in. Yeah, like if it breaks. I wonder if, it, if you would ever mass produce these uh could you mass produce these and sell them 
Nate and I have talked about it and it might, it would be a really big investment for us because, you know, you can only make so many wraps in so much time in the dehydrators. We'd have to invest in big commercial dehydrators, which would be tens of thousands of dollars. Um, and then we would have to invest somehow to ship these without them going moldy because moisture is kind of not a, a friendly thing for the wraps. So we would have to figure out a way to do that. And, you know, we're just kind of like, I don't know if that's a route that we want to take because we'd rather, honestly, honestly, we'd rather empower the viewer to make these themselves so that they, they, you know, they learn how to do it themselves and they can make them themselves. But who knows? I mean, I mean, maybe one day we do end up making them for sale, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'd buy them. I know you would. <laughs> totally. I know a lot of people would too. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to end with just a little bit more purple cabbage just to finish off the rainbow. There we go. Okay. All right. The rest of the ingredients I'm just going to use for the other wrap because I've got that other one that I'll wrap up on our show. All right. So this is the trick to fold it. What I like to do is I like to pull, put all three of the bottom corners into the center. So one, two, and three. So it looks like an envelope. You've got all three in the center. You can tuck the corners if you want. I'll just tuck these ones in. It's totally optional. Then you can be decently rough with these wraps because they're very strong. But they're also, you know, you know, they're sensitive. So you want to be firm, but gentle. And then you can just like squeeze it. I like to squeeze the wrap and roll the wrap in like this. And there we go. Woo! -hoo! Check that out. There's the wrap. Fully loaded. Deliciousness. And people say, does it stick? It does stick for the most part. If you have some cashew cheese on there or some sauce, it'll stick decently. But let's cut this in half and have the big reveal. Big reveal. All right, I'm gonna come around to the front to show you. Here we go. Maybe here we are. Ooh, check out that rainbow wrap. It's like perfect. <laughs> you know, I don't even cut mine because they don't look pretty, but they are delicious. I'll tell you. How many yeah. times have you been going live every day since a bundle? Like 10? Oh, um, five, four to five to six, depending. And, you know, they're like, they're like an hour each time. So <laughs> they're a lot. They're a lot. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to put these wraps to the side here. Aren't they cool? Oh my gosh. Super cool. Actually, really quickly, I have these deli papers. I want to show how I fold this. So because I'm going to eat these tomorrow and I didn't put any um, wet, really wet ingredients in here. And I'll use a sauce for those asking. I get so many people who are like, that's too dry. I'm like, well, for one, the vegetables are hydrating. And for two, you could put a sauce on. So like, we'll get a squeeze bottle and we'll just drizzle sauce on the top and, and eat it like that. So you can totally add a sauce at mealtime. That just helps prevent soggy wraps. So there we go. There's one wrap ready to go. And here's the other wrap ready to go. And now I have lunch for Sunday and Monday. Because I'll have one of these tomorrow and I'll have the other one on Monday and they'll be just perfect. So that's that, all done. It's so cool. I'm like, I've got lunch for the next two days. I don't have to worry about it. You know, that's the fun thing about doing all these lives is you get to get, we get to make our own food. So that's exactly. good. But I wanted to show you this, Chef AJ. I made your your Goodman peanut chews, I made them raw. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so what I did, let me just take this form off. What I did was uh, for the topping, 
I just mixed dates, coconut milk, vanilla, um, and cacao. And I just mixed it into a really thick, um, like a thick topping. And I used the, the jungle peanuts. So I, I, mean, <laughs> I made them raw. Can I make raw? I mean, that I make cooked, you can make raw. That's why we teach these classes, guys, called Make It Raw, Make It Cooked. It was a $197 class that you get the whole thing for free in the bundle. It's over six and a half hours with two eBooks of Lisa and I doing entire menus of different cuisines like Mexican and Italian. And then I do the raw cooked version. She does the raw version. Very, very cool. Wow, that is so cool. Apple's estimating she has made at least 100 wraps by now. Nice. And oh, 200 actually. And uh, Cindy says, where do you harvest your greens from? Um, so we have a lettuce grow garden in our office. So it's kind of like, I don't want to call it tower garden because there's another company that, that has that name. It's got a, <laughs> has your throat been dried? Has my what been dried? your throat from talking so much. Oh my gosh. Well, mostly my eyes are dry from looking at the light this many hours. <laughs> Using I felt, I've had to drink so much water because it's so dry here in Vegas that I'm like, Ugh. but anyways, um, so we have a lettuce grow and it's, it's basically a garden tower that we have in our office and it, it automatically waters every hour for like 15 minutes or something like that. And we have all different kinds of lettuces growing on it. We've got kale and chard and radicchio and um, speckled lettuce and butter lettuce and red leaf lettuce and dill and all kinds of stuff. We've got all kinds of stuff growing on there. And we get the starts from lettuce grow and we just put them in there and just let them go. And we've been harvesting off that thing. Again, we don't harvest every day. And usually we harvest just for the wraps because we, we don't want to use like you know, a whole head of lettuce or what have you. So we'll just clip a whole bunch of different leaves. And we've been harvesting off of that since like Christmas time. So we do need to um, change out some of them because a lot of them have bolted. So we do need to change them, but it's been really cool to have like bonus greens in the office along with our microgreens and stuff like that. So yeah, lettuce grow. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Bonnie says, I bought a dehydrator just for Lissa's wraps. Now, if I can just find my scale. Scales are pretty cheap, Bonnie. I've got one at Bed Bath & Beyond for like 14 bucks. Barbara says, thank you both Chef AJ and Lissa for putting this wonderful bundle together. I had exhausted <laughs> imagining all the work both you did for us. You're very welcome. And here is a question from... Where did it go? I saw it a minute ago. Here you go. Shelly, uh, do you have to have a dehydrator or can these be done in the oven? Great question. So you do need to have a dehydrator. Now, the reason being is there's a few reasons, actually. Um, most ovens do not go down to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Most ovens low is like 170, which is way too hot. I'll tell a quick story. Nate and I were going on this really big camping trip and we needed to make lots of wraps. So I had four wraps going in this dehydrator. And on the top, there's the dial up at the top. And when I put some trays on the top, I didn't realize that it pushed the dial and it moved it. So it was about 145 Fahrenheit in there. And maybe it could have been 152. But when I went to check on them the next morning, I peeled one off and it was like really hard. And once I peeled it, you know, it was really hard to peel it off the tray, but it was also like super crusty. And once it came off the tray, it was like, you couldn't wrap it. And it also smelled a little, not burnt, but like it had that like caramelized -y, burnt burnty. And that was only like at 145 Fahrenheit. So I can, you know, I say like anything in the oven is too hot unless your oven has a dehydrator option that goes to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, then you could probably do it. But it also doesn't have adequate airflow because some people say like, oh, well you could leave the door open Right. But that's also not safe because you have to leave it on, you know, if you're leaving it overnight, you don't want to leave your oven on with the door open and a fan blowing in there all night. So it's just way more safe and it's more reliable to get a dehydrator and you can get used dehydrators. I've heard some crazy stories. One lady messaged me and said she found a nine tray Excalibur for 20 bucks 
on Craigslist. Yeah, so Facebook marketplace, eBay, a lot of people buy them with the best intentions, just like juicers. They use them once or they never use them. So don't give up. Also, it's got to be a square dehydrator because some of the people had that round one. They couldn't make your wraps. Right. And there are smaller dehydrators. You can get smaller trays like these are the 14 by 14. They do make 10 by 12. So it's like a little smaller, they're rectangle shaped, so they don't wrap up the same way. But if that's the dehydrator you have, you can get the 10 by 12. And in the hand salads wrap ebook, if you buy the bundle, get the bundle before tomorrow, you can download the hand salads wrap ebook. I've got links to these trays and as well as the smaller 10 by 12 trays that do fit in the smaller dehydrators. If you have the smaller trays, one recipe instead of two big trays, it makes exactly three small trays. So if you have the small ones, split the batter across three of them and it'll be perfect. Perfect. Ah. Let's, uh, you're, you, you demand. Okay. Um, something, question about from Chantel, is it hydroponics? I'm not sure what oh, she's- Oh, that's asking. for the tower? Yes, it's hydroponics. Nice. It's just a, a, kind of like a motor that pushes the water up and then it rains on the inside and you just put minerals and nutrients in the water and that uh, grows the lettuce. So, yeah. Apple says she has the smaller Excalibur and each makes three wraps. She loves it. And Anne is saying, Chef AJ, thank you so much for all your time and effort to showcase all these amazing contributors, yourself included. Lisa, you are the raw vegan queen. I agree. You know, I feel bad that I have to eat and sleep because I was only able to feature six a day, which means I could only give you about 60 out of the 150. So, uh, Hopefully we can find a, another way to get everybody on, but a lot of the other contributors are doing shows with each other. So hopefully you're following some of them as well. Yeah. Uh, Jolene says Breville has an oven dehydrator uh, feature. Never tried it. I haven't either because I use my, my Breville every day. So I just use my dehydrator for dehydrating, but I'd love to know if it works. My, my, I don't want to say concern, but those are very specific trays that she uses and will they fit in the Breville? The Breville seems to be a little bit more rectangular than square. Yeah, that's the ultimate question. Will the trays fit? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if that's all people have and they want to try and start, I say go for it. Give it a try. I have heard mixed reviews. I've heard, you know, some people with the Ninja, they have like a Ninja one that has um, a dehydrator option or like the air fryer or whatever. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people say it takes like 24 hours to dry and other people say it, it dried perfectly fine. So it's, you got to try it to see. <laughs> All right. Well, Lisa, bundle babe, raw vegan queen. I thank you so much for creating such beauty and deliciousness and healthy stuff in the world. It's amazing. And I wish you every success with the bundle. Get it from Lisa. I mean, I, I don't want you to play flavors, but Lisa, this is the bundle babe, you know, where there'd be no bundle without Lisa. So if you haven't gotten it, you know, come on, you got a little over 24 hours and you may as well get it from Lisa, right? Uh, Matthew says, thank you for providing amazing information. Well worth the price of the bundle. Oh, Matthew, you've made recipes already. I'd love to know what you made. And Annie says she plans to try the caramelized onion wrap first. They're all good. I, and when I say this, I mean, like, it doesn't matter which one you make because there hasn't been a bad one. I tend to make the ones that I already have the ingredients for. And some of them, for example, I think there's like a sweet corn wrap. It's basically just like corn and onion. And I always have that. You know what I mean? So like if, if I didn't have basil or a sun-dried tomato, um, there's always a few where the, it's such simple ingredients that a lot of people will probably already have those ingredients without having to go to the store. Yeah, totally. And and that's the cool thing about the hand salads wrap is ebook is that I have 34 different flavors. And I also have matching fillings, spreads, and sauces in there as well. So there's a, you know, there's a sauce or a spread for every different flavored wrap. There's like the mahini curry wrap. There's um, like a cauliflower spicy ginger wrap. There's a buffalo ranch wrap, a Philly cheese one, a mushroom fajita, a pizza wrap. Um, yeah, the, the two no fish, that's Nate's absolute favorite wrap of the entire book. He always asks me to make that one. He likes the filling and the tartar sauce and the wrap itself that's his absolute favorite. So, um, yeah, definitely got to try them all. <laughs> and also just so you guys know, um, 
they, I, I've never used any wrap that Lisa has called for flax seeds. I just never have flax seeds in the house and I have so many chia seeds. I've just used chia and they've worked fine with an equal substitution. As long as you've got to have that psyllium husk though, you, the, the psyllium powder, that yeah. is crucial. Or it won't, it won't do the all pliable stuff, you know? And I do recommend using the powder and not the actual husk. Right. The powder. Yeah, the powder is more dense and it actually sucks up the water differently than the husk do. If we, I've had people message me and say, oh, I just had the husk and it cracked in the center. So powder is essential to use. Yeah, follow it exactly. All <laughs> right, Lissa. Well, thank you so much for creating a most beautiful bundle for all of us to showcase our work and for having beautiful, beautiful, oh, your taco books in the bundle too. I mean, my goodness, I mean, if they have the wrap book, they probably don't have your taco book. Yeah. The tacos are so fun. I didn't have time to make them. I wanted to make them um, and have a taco night during the bundle, but there was just no time. Um, but the taco book is in there. So you get the hard shell tacos that have the crunch. They're not deep fried. They're oil free. They're low salt. Like they're, but they're crunchy and they're raw. So you can have tostadas or taco shells with, and there's recipes in there for like different types of salsa, some different guacamoles. There's the cashew sour cream and the nacho cheese sauce. There's like a, a cilantro jalapeno crema kind of thing. Like there's all different kinds of recipes so that you can have an awesome taco night. And I made your carrot chorizo. Yes, the carrot. Yeah, it's so good. It's a low fat carrot. I call it low fat carrot crumbles. And yeah, those and are I'm, not, I'm not I'm not raw. So I just use it in my cook food, you know, yeah, exactly. And that's the beauty of, you know, enjoying raw is that you don't have to be a raw foodie. Like you can just enjoy raw food and you don't have to be raw. It's just fun, extra. And, you know, we, it's it gets more variety into our bodies. Right. So it's all good. <laughs> raw food you don't have to be vegan to enjoy vegan food exactly. and, but you do have to get the bundle before 11 59 p.m pacific time tomorrow because one minute later we are not going to be giving it to you we promise that turning off the website so <laughs> get it before we're gonna stay, you're, you're staying up until midnight to make sure that happens right <laughs> i am yep yep i'll be staying up and yeah it'll be turned off at midnight so if you want to get it please go grab it now or it's too late. <laughs> uh, Celeste says, uh, I bought the bundle from both of you and gifted it to a friend. Thank you. It's a great gift, by the way. Is there a vegan group in LA? So I've been out of LA for five years and I would imagine there is. So what I would do is go to meetup.com. It's free. You can put in what city, what your interests are. Um, that's what I would do. I, I don't know of one offhand, as I mentioned, I've been gone for five years. And uh, Salah is also saying, I don't know much about psyllium. Which one do I buy? I just buy the generic brand, like it's Sprouts. I don't even buy a fancy expensive one. I just go to Sprouts and they have like a Sprouts brand. And she says, as long as it's powder, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah. And if people want like a, a fancy brand, we like Now Foods because they test for heavy metals in their products. So, you know, side bonus. But yeah, you can just get it from the bulk bin if you want as well. So it's good food for your microbiome, by the way. <laughs> I think you're coming back in April as part of your regular series, Feeling Great with Lissa and Nate. I believe that's Tuesday, April 9th. That's my wedding anniversary. And I think you're making a special raw vegan lasagna that's actually in this bundle. Yes, the lasagna is in the group collaboration ebook. So if you want to make a raw lasagna, that's Nate's recipe and he contributed to the group book and he will be um, happy to share about the lasagna. It's one of his favorite dishes. So, and he will be here um, for that show because he's coming back because get, guess what, Chef AJ? On April 2nd, I am going to be naturalized to be a United States citizen. Yay, it's about time because I've been wanting you to go to Rancho La Puerta and you can't go to Mexico <laughs> without a passport. No, so I'm I'm so excited. I should be able to get my passport within a month after I get naturalized. So I should have it for the summer. Uh, we want to go to Canada to for my cousin's wedding. Um, I want to visit my parents. Like it's gonna be really fun. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely have to, have to touch test and like together. We have to study and know who the first president of the United States is. Um, not the first president, but I do need to know who the House Speaker is right now, which I do. It's Mike Johnson. I've been studying. I didn't even know that, and I'm a citizen, so good for you. Uh, he was just elected in, like, maybe over Christmas-ish time, I think. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I have to know 
the, my my state senators, my um, some other people. I can't remember now, but there's also other things like which states border Canada? What are the two longest rivers? How many House of Representative people? How many senators? Yeah, I mean, okay, why to know the longest river? That is not, I mean, it doesn't make you a good citizen to know geography, but I'd love to hear all about your tests. So yes, the bill ends tomorrow night, not at midnight, Chantel, at one minute before midnight, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. And uh, Lisa is from Canada and Bonnie is saying, Bonnie got the psyllium husk at Walmart. So it is a pretty common item now, even, you know, drug stores have it and, you know, places like you can that. order it on Amazon. <laughs> I've, even, I've even seen it at the grocery store. So, all right. Thank you so much. Raw food, vegan queen, bundle babe, and my friend, Lisa Maris. I love you. <laughs> I love all of you guys. Even if you don't buy the bundle, just for watching the show, but click on the link even if you don't get it just to show that we're not you know somebody put on this website the, it's a vegan scam a vegan scam like it was hilarious to me how is it a scam we're giving people like 151 products but just click on it see if anything resonates with you and come back tomorrow for some more bundle shows we'll have four of them the first one starting at 10 30 a.m with donna spencer cooking italian fare but we'll have our regular chef aj live tomorrow at 8 30 it's a very interesting show with dr peter rogers he's going to be discussing can you really not get enough protein or get enough fat, not get enough fat on your diet? So how much protein and how much fat do you really need? And what I love about Lissa's wraps is they're not a lot of fat. They're not a lot of fat. Nope. <laughs> yep. A low fat raw vegan. All right, everyone have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.